Hey folks, this is Johnny. I got a really quick uh, quick one here for you. There was a question in the Personas Studio One Facebook group about selecting multiple events. And it's something that I really haven't done for a while. But um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to show you uh, how to do this. Uh, and it, it kind of confused me at first because I've always just clicked and dragged, but I'll uh, show you, uh, I'll show you what I mean. So when you're actually in a song and you have a track with multiple cuts in an event, or if you've been working with loops and you have multiple loops within an event, you know, uh, within a track, you've got multiple events within that track. <laughs> Duh. All right. So, um, uh, so selecting all of those events, there's some really easy ways, but the question that was asked was using the shift key. I don't remember when it changed or if it changed, but I'm going to show you what I mean here. If you guys could, I'd really appreciate it. If you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, enable notifications so that you know when I'm going to do these videos. And if you guys could um, either become a member here or shoot on over to Patreon, I have... I have to do a video on the cool stuff that I have going on over there now for uh, paying members and for free members. So I'm, I'm going to get a video together for that. But if you guys could uh, visit the Patreon uh, link in the description and check out all the cool stuff over there. It's especially for people that support me directly. All right. So here we have a bunch of events right here in this vocal track and you guys are pretty familiar with this song i think one thing you can count on there will be nothing left to fear all right yeah it was it was a good day for my voice and of course it's not perfect i am not the singer I once was, but at least I can do some vocal tracks now. All right, so you can see all of these different events here, right? And if I select them, so the question was, um, so did I did I break something or forget something in Studio One where I click on the first event and go to the last event? Hold Shift. That's not working. Uh, the Shift command is selecting the events I click on but it is not selecting everything in the middle like you do with tracks. You, cl you click the top one, you hold shift, and you click the bottom one, and everything in the middle is highlighted. And I really had to sit back and think about this. So the way that I usually do it without thinking is I just go off the kind of off of the grid here, just click on the outside, and then just drag across. Works great. But if you've got a screen full of events and you just want to select a few in the center, how do you do that? Well, it's the shift command again. And if I hold shift and I click the first one and drag, then it works. But if I don't hold shift, I end up moving the damn thing. <laughs> That's not going to help. All right. Uh, so let's go. Let's go back. Oops. Bing. There we go. So, uh, so the solution is, and, and there are people out there uh, that are probably watching this video like, I know that. Well, you know what? I, I couldn't remember. And I went back to version five and it's the same. So if, if you hold, if you hold shift, I don't have my, don't have my, uh, let's see if I got my key. Thing. Thing. Okay, there we go. So if you look down here, you'll see the uh, keystrokes that I'm doing. So if I hold shift. If I actually click directly on the event, a hold shift, click on the event and drag it, it selects them all. If I hold shift and click them one at a time, it will select independent events that are not uh, linked or next to each other. If I just click on the outside and just drag across, it actually selects them all. So <laughs> again, some of you are doing the uh, forehead slap and saying, I knew this already. But uh, there you go. There, that is an an that is the answer to the question. I just thought it was worth actually posting because there are a couple of different ways to do this, and I thought you guys might like uh, like the information. So if you didn't, just give me a thumbs down. <laughs> I, I can totally respect that. All right, folks. So uh, that's it for this video. I got a whole bunch more videos, and if, if you guys could. Go to my Patreon site. There are PDFs now for instructionals. If you guys like to do reading, I am going to be doing so many more. It has been a project of mine for a long time, and I finally found a program that will help me put this stuff together. There are PDFs over there for everything, uh, for everything from actually building a Personas studio, you know, a home studio, 
um, to recording acoustic guitar, recording bass, and how I do things. So very cool. Check that out, and I will see you all in the next video.